Good afternoon. Today we'll consider uh, the uh, treatment of MPM with uh, drugs and will be critical. I've uh, asked how many patients we had in our center in the last uh, 16 uh, months. Uh, on the diagram you see uh, the number of cases keeps growing. In 16 years we managed to analyze 249 uh, cases of mesothelioma. Uh, mainly it was pleuram, um, mesothelioma 109, uh, abdomen 138, and uh, three had uh, the uh, membrane um, of uh, the uh, testicles. Uh, so uh, from uh, age group of pleura was um, uh, older in abdomen. It was a younger group of from 19 to uh, 44 years. Uh, well, let me provide you some cases. Patient, uh, female, aged 51 in August of the year 07. Uh, she complained about uh, the uh, chest uh, pain. X-ray determined um, a liquid in the uh, right pleura. This uh, caused the partial atelectasis of the right lung, and we were excluded uh, the tuberculosis. Uh, so the situation was T2 and 1M038 uh, stage according to the seventh classification that was used at that time. We did VATS uh, biopsy of pleura. COG uh, um, approved that uh, the uh, malignant epithelial mesothelioma. The functional status uh, was um, ECOG 1. According uh, to the local practice, uh, the patients with stage 3 and 4 of the disease are offered the drug uh, treatment, chemotherapy. Since the year 03, the classical option of the first-line treatment was the combination of pemetrexid and cisplatin. Uh, the patient had six courses uh, that was planned, but uh, the complications, uh, hematology, toxicity of the third uh, grade, nephrotoxicity, polyneuropathy of the second uh, grade made us first reduce the dose of dispersion down to 60 milligram per square meter and later to stop uh, the uh, treatment. Um, uh, here comes the question, how do we access the results, the effect? If pleuritis wasn't considered, there's no spheric um, uh, node for the 2D measurement. Uh, there was only the diffuse thickening. Uh, so the resist 1, 0 and WHO criteria are not uh, suitable. So a later modified system of assessment of treatment uh, um, uh, efficiency of, MPM, uh, of PM was uh, mentioned. Uh, diameters at three sections are used. Uh, together, it provides one target control locus. Uh, this system is not used in practice. And uh, considering the clinical effect, uh, the uh, general condition improved, uh, and the uh, um, um, liquid um, disappeared, uh, pleural uh, thickness went down by 1.2, 1.3 um, uh, So uh, we consider it to be uh, stabilization according to RESIS 1.0. Uh, the remission lasted for three years. Uh, progressing uh, took place in October of the year 18. New pleuritis uh, appeared. Remission was lengthy, so we again um, um, uh, uh, did the same treatment, but cisplatin was uh, uh, replaced with carboplatin. Due to toxicity, only four courses were conducted. After the reinduction, we again achieved stabilization. According to RESIST 1.1 criteria, which is uh, was used by the year 11, remission was shorter, just 10 months. After uh, that, pleuritis went up again. Uh, more nodes did not appear, and the clinical condition was uh, considered to be uh, a relapsing pleuritis. So a local treatment was uh, offered. That's chemical pleuritis. There are different... Um, 
uh, agents who use the like talk, Bloom and Tetracycline, uh, they all have their pros and cons. Uh, they're pretty efficient and they can control the liquid accumulation. The patient was included in the clinical trial uh, to test our uh, local drug called Teraftal. Uh, it's a comprehensive uh, cobalt uh, soul. It's um, introduced into the pleura. The dose is uh, 247 uh, milligram per square meter in combination with ascorbic acid, 543 milligram per square meter. The drug has a high efficacy, controls pleuritis very well in 80% of patients. Uh, hence, um, after the uh, usage of uh, teraftal, the remission lasted for one year, and the progression uh, took place in December of the year 13. The best effect uh, was stabilization. Uh, by that time, the period of follow-up made six years in total. After the progression in the year 13, we again uh, returned to the mode of uh, pemetroxide with platinum drug because the progression uh, wasn't observed when using this uh, scheme. The effect was stabilization. Remission was much shorter, six months, and in August of the year 14, we noticed the growth of nodes in pleura. Uh, the questions uh, arose uh, whether we should return to the previous scheme of treatment or should we start the second line of treatment or should the patient be offered a participation in a clinical trial because the first line standards uh, were all uh, used. Uh, determine a uh, clinical trial uh, was used for her uh, second and third line of um, uh, treatment uh, of mesothelioma of pleura and uh, uh, abdomen. Uh, this is a placebo controlled um, a trial. Um, survival with no progression didn't um, get longer, and the general survivor in a group with a, a terminal marble was the same as placebo group. Our patient uh, received a tremolimobab, seven courses with stabilization within a year, and then the progression uh, took place in July of the year 15. Same questions appear. Should we return to the previous kind of uh, treatment? Uh, should do we uh, uh, repeat the first line, start the second line of treatment, or again to have participation in a clinical trial? In the year 15, a publication uh, was um, published uh, saying uh, that that drug didn't extend the survival in comparison with the other chemotherapy uh, modes. Uh, Hemcetabine was considered, uh, cisplatin was considered to be the best, but there uh, was no direct comparison made of the two schemes of treatment. Um, in our center, we did do that comparison, uh, the efficiency of uh, gemcetabine cisplatin and pemetroxate with the cisplatin, the first and second uh, lines of uh, treatment of um, MP or PM. Um, survival with no progression and overall survival were comparable. Uh, the difference was statistically insignificant. When using same modes in the second uh, line, the survival with no progression and the general uh, survival were again practically identical. Also in the year 15, there was published the MOPS research results. Uh, um, they were trying the Bionzizumab target uh, drug. It was added to chemotherapy, uh, and this improved uh, the survival up to 19 months in comparison with 16 months with just the chemotherapy. Our patient received five courses of the second line, the scheme hemsetan and cisplatin with a reduction of doses uh, due to the previous uh, treatment. They, she didn't get bevacizumab, and the remission lasted for 1.5 years. Progression took place in the May of the year 7. Uh, locus um, in a plural that made um, um, uh, the uh, uh, crest on the uh, tongue. And she had a pleurosynthesis. Uh, some five liters were evacuated of um, um, exudate. And uh, we did a teroscopic biopsy of pleura to the uh, right with partial resection of the coastal pleura to the right. And, uh, 
Uh, biopsy uh, uh, proved malignancy of a mesothelioma. In the year 17, we already know about uh, the protein and uh, the ligands that cause the cell death. For the first time in Russia, we've studied uh, the expression of PDL1 at um, um, PM, like with lung cancer, at the platform 28 and uh, 8. Um, uh, the protein prognostic uh, validity was approved at epithelial type and, and negative PDL. The median general survival uh, makes 41 months. Our patient uh, had a PDL expression of 2%. Uh, there's no instability. Uh, BRC and BAP1 genes have no mutations. So we returned to, to chemotherapy, gemocetabine, uh, camoplatin. We were conducted three uh, courses. This was complicated by hematology toxicity of uh, grade three and four. The uh, patient uh, uh, complained about fatigue caused by treatment. We stopped the treatment, continued the follow-up, uh, wait and see. By that time, the follow-up period made 11 years. After the completion of the last course of chemotherapy, the remission was seven um, months. That's the best uh, effect of stabilization. Progression took place in August of the year 18 implantation metastasis in chest to the right. We returned to the hemcetabine mode already with no platinum drugs due to bad tolerance, and we had six courses. Again, stabilization was achieved. Remission was shorter, five months. In May of the year 19, a soft tissue um, um, node uh, grew up to 9.5 centimeters in chest. Again, um, liquid was accumulated in the right uh, pleural uh, cavity. Not much of it. Uh, thanks God, a cock uh, was zero and no lymph node were, uh, nodes were involved. Um, unfortunately, uh, the following uh, treatment with Paclitaxel and later with Venerobin wasn't efficient. The tumor kept growing at uh, uh, control uh, in February of this a year, uh, the tumor infiltrated um, up uh, uh, into the abdomen up to the iliac uh, crest. Uh, the follow-up period by that time was 13 years. What were the achievements uh, by now? In the year 19, uh, the results uh, of stellar trial were presented uh, on uh, using electro of electric mag magnetic uh, fields. It's compared to uh, gamma uh, therapy, uh, but they tolerated much uh, better. Also, the results uh, were presented at ESMO 2019, uh, pembrolizumab, nivolumab, alavolumab in mono mode with uh, general survival, uh, medial survival was uh, from 10 to 18 months. We continued to uh, study or combined uh, immunosub, durvolumab uh, with uh, tremolumab and pelumab. Uh, the median uh, general survival was up to 1.5 years, uh, but those were the modes of line two and three. We continued to study combined uh, chemo and immune uh, treatment uh, for early stage in neoadjuvant uh, mode uh, with and without uh, radiotherapy. So far, these options um, are only available for patients within the clinical trials and can't be used in routine practice. As of today, in clinical guidelines for patients with early stages, uh, first to the third A, um, indications are for surgical or multimodal treatment, but it's available really only in major oncological centers. Patients 3B and the fourth stage with a good um, ECOG status 0 to 1 has have indication to combine and target chemotherapy. The only target uh, um, drug, Bevacizumab, is not registered in the Russian Federation for treating um, PM, and it's not always accessible. Immune, immune therapy is not yet registered in the Russian Federation, but our patients may get it off label uh, as have exhausted all treatment options. When it comes to TTF, they they are adopted by FDA in 2019 in the first line uh, treatment line are not available in the Russian Federation and patients with uh, 
a, a poor status, a functional status, uh, a recommended um, um, monochemistry and uh, monochem chemotherapy and symptomatic treatment. You may think that everything um, is gloomy when it comes to studies uh, of uh, PM, but we continue collecting the unified register to identify all patients in the Russian Federation. We participate in clinical trials. Uh, we do molecular and genetic um, testing, especially at um, lesions both in uh, pleura and uh, abdomen. And our patient is still alive. We accumulate clinical experience and we follow up our patients, uh, including...